Okay, so I'm about to do something I've never done before and that's donate blood. But I thought it was about time I change it because it can help people who really need it. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm ready to go. Let's see what happens. One in three Aussies will need to be given blood at some point in their life, and just half a litre can save up to three lives. So that's why they need people like me, healthy people, to donate. But first, I need to answer a lot of questions and do some tests. That's a little squeezy for your hand. Thank you. That's all right. Oh yeah, your veins are beautiful, absolutely beautiful for the donation process. Yeah. So you are eligible to donate blood today. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having me. That's because they need to check I'm fit and healthy. If I'm sick, I could pass it on to someone who takes my blood. Okay, it's about to go in. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm just not gonna look and hopefully it's all good. Okay. Wish okay, me luck. Now, I'm just gonna pop the needle in. And a small scratch now, just look away, you're fine. Just stop squeezing, all good. <laughs> And it's in. And we're all good. It wasn't that bad. Just don't look and that's the key. So now I'm all hooked up and it's taking about 500 millilitres of blood. So that has the red blood cells, the plasma and the platelets. They're all really important. Most blood donations go to people who have cancer or other diseases. Then there's people having surgery, people with broken bones and even mums and their newborn babies. So six minutes later and I'm all done. But that's not the end of it. The blood is then sent off to the processing centre. First up, it needs to get labelled. All up, there's eight different blood types and the donor's blood type has to be the same as the recipient. Well, except for the O group. It's a universal donor, so anyone can receive O blood type. And once the blood is at our processing centre, it's tested and then it's put into a special machine. And the machine spins really, really fast and that actually separates the blood into those three parts. So it separates the blood into red cells, into plasma and into platelets. And those things all do separate things to help people, but it's all really important. Every bag is scanned and put into a system. After that, it's sent out all across the country to people who need it most. We do know that um, every blood donation travels on average about 370 kilometres. So if you're donating blood in South Australia, for example, it might help somebody else in Adelaide or it might actually help somebody in Perth or Darwin. It's amazing. One of those people is Eva. Well, I've got CVID, which is common variable um, immune deficiency. And um, it means when I get a virus, my body can't fight it off. Eva's immune system doesn't work the way it's supposed to, so she can get really sick really easily. She relies on plasma donations to stay healthy. So I need plasma infusions because it means I can live a healthy life and I can do all the things that I want to do, like photography, dancing, hanging out with my friends, going places, going shopping, uh, things that people take for granted I cherish. So if you could say something to the people that give blood donations, what would you say? You're basically helping someone to live a normal life and helping someone, another person or more, um, you're just helping them out and um, it's really big. It means a lot to the person receiving it.